My name's John, welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, I get that oil filter finished off, the bypass oil filter for the vintage BMW motorbike. I do a little bit of plasma cutting, I think there's some welding involved, and I actually do a, a job for Deb, or at least for Deb's mom. The monthly raffle's doing well, there has been quite a few names come in. If you've sent your name in in the last fortnight, you should have an email to say I've got your name. If you haven't, resend it. That's my email address up there. All I need is your name, your full name like John Mills. Your name goes into the bucket. If it's drawn out, the prize gets sent to you anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. I've had a massive increase in subscribers. I think I had um, 1,500 new subscribers basically in a month. So if you're watching this and you aren't subscribed, click the subscribe button, it does make a massive difference. I've spent quite a lot of time in the shop this week, I've got a lot done, so I've got quite a bit of video. I'm going to put the normal toenail caps up and I'll probably put another one up, the major week one, possibly on Wednesday night, just so you can get a little bit more, a little bit more of us. the right thread on the, on the filter head we're making, certainly measure it up right. Thread. Certainly makes them a fit for an oil filter. So now I can machine this end without damaging that face. I wanted to keep it right just about through. Mm -hmm. 
vedi un po' le spacca di This should be the, the last cut. You take that out to 40 and then a the facing cut to bring that shoulder to a width of 10. Ten point five, so I need a whisker off there. Right, then we'll need that reducing down, I think it's 15 in the 8mm hole, put them in there. But I must make sure that the 8mm hole doesn't join up with a 10mm hole on that side because I've used drillings that go in from various angles. I can just touch this off on there, zero the DRO, bring it back 15 mil, which is there, one cut to see that done, and I'll do it in two. That's a 15 mil. A little radius on there. On the drone it shows the whole ends about there, that's 15, so I'm going to put it in 16mm and we should still have like 8mm between the two. Okay, so once again, I'm just going to touch the drill off, which is there. That under there, zero the DRO, 16mm. Right, that's a gap of 16 mil there, I can't drill too deep. Same with the 8mm drill. Again, zero.
Sehr gut. Ich meine, wir haben gerade voll alle wie ein Frühschuhe. Right, that's the turning part done. Now there's a hole goes in through this face here into that drilling and the one from this face into that drilling. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. I think eyeball is going to have quite a lot to do with it. Um, I'll have a think how I'm going to do that. I'm not going to rush into it because I don't want to obviously break in anyway. Um, One thing that I have noticed, when you make something out of aluminium on a lathe, you tend to get a lot of this. Horrible, I hate it. I've got a bit of time on my hands, so I may have a little bit of experiment grinding some high speed steel to see if I can get a chip break out of work on, on aluminium. I'm not sure what grade aluminium this is, it's the sort of aluminium that you get given, or you cadge, or borrow. But it does seem to be very, very stringy. Anyway, it's machined quite nicely, a nice thread. I'm quite pleased with that. Up to now. Right, this is going to be the interesting part of the, the whole job. I'm going to do that drilling first, that one there, which goes down through there and breaks into that 10mm hole down there. And the one I've Try to do what I'm going to do. I've set up a 10 mil drill there, and that's a 1.5. That's the hole it's got to go through. So obviously that drill there is going to touch. That's where it's going to go. I put a little starter mark in there, just with a bull round nosed milling cutter. So if that goes into there. That starts in that hole, and it's going to go straight down. And hopefully break into there. I can't see you think of any other way of doing it. Just do it freehand. And put a straight line down through there. It's going to miss all the important bits, and it should break down. It should break out. In fact, it's got to break out. Touching that, which is in the centre there. I'll run the drill as fast as I can. Just hold this by hand and carefully go through. Once the 1.5 drills through, the hole is opened up to 5mm but not full depth. The 1.5 is a restrictor that restricts the oil flow to keep the oil pressure in the engine. That's not a very good fit on that drill so what I may do is put some tape around here just to tighten it up. I go first just to make sure the hole starts. Use a slightly bigger drill just to start it because that is really flexible. Down. 
We've still got 10 mil to go there. Right, that's five mil before that breaks through. Once again, zero. So I know when it's about to break through. It's just broke through. Right, that's it, you can see it there. I think, it's right at the bottom of the hole. That's good, I like it. I'm just going to check the zero on this. Spot on. I'm going to get some nasty comments about using my hand to hold this, I know I am. You know, I really can't think of any other way of doing it. Right, and that leaves 5 mil there of that little 1.5 mil restrictor hole left. Maybe we can see that there in the little restrictor hole and we'll see where it's broken through in the bottom, bottom of there. So that's the first one doing quite nicely. Yeah, I set this one up in exactly the same way and I've sorted a hole with a bone nose cutter in there. I'm going to go through with a 3mm drill. Right, that's broke through, that's fine, that's nothing the matter with that. All the way through. Next is to open that up to 5mm, and that's basically the, the job done. Things down a little bit. Right, that's a throw. Right, so hopefully you can see that's the, the 5mm hole, which is that one. 
and the whole of the restrictor in is that one there which goes down into the bottom of there 